everyone! Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I almost didn't bother making a video today. And that's because yesterday I had an email from YouTube telling me that as of the 20th of February, because I don't have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months, they're going to demonetize the channel and remove me from the YouTube partnership program. Yay! Thank you! Now, I'm not bothered about demonetization because I don't make any money from this channel. But taking me out of YouTube's partnership program is really, really, really sucky. I'll explain why as briefly as I can. Basically, when you're part of the YouTube partnership program, YouTube will promote your videos in searches. So if you search for the titles of some of my videos, I'll be quite highly ranked in the search results. But when I'm not a partner anymore, they won't bother promoting my channel. And of course, when your videos aren't promoted, it means that they're not coming up in recommended videos when somebody watches a similar video. And that means I won't find new subscribers as easily because my channel will not be as easily discoverable. So it'll be nigh on impossible to gain a thousand subscribers or 4,000 hours of view time. Thank you for screwing over small content creators, YouTube. Mwah, we love you! <laughs> Not. Anyway, as you can imagine, getting that email made me really happy. What the hell? Screw you! The thing is, I'm normally quite a chilled out person. I say quite because I am part Mediterranean and I do have natural red in my hair. Not that you can maybe tell at the moment because I have dyed it recently, but I do. So, I have a feisty side. Most of my life I try very hard to be smiley and happy and friendly and peace and love. is once I'm annoyed by something that I have every reason to be legitimately angry about all of that rage has to go somewhere because we know that keeping anger bottled up inside never ends well so rather than keep anger in when I'm legitimately miffed with something or someone, I have to let it out some way. Usually, if I'm genuinely angry about something I have every right to be angry about, I will go on a rant to whoever will listen. Sometimes I'll even write an angry blog about it, and hopefully that will get all of the rage out of my system. But if it doesn't, we have to move on to other tactics. I could try screaming into a pillow, Or I could just mash buttons on a controller whilst playing a video game just to kill an animated character. Die! Die, you old man! Die! But sometimes, even those things don't work. And when those things don't work, I have to fall back on my weird coping method. Which is getting mad at stupid things for no reason. I'm not proud of this, okay? Why can't you just stay up there like I put you there? Why do you hate me? Why must you torment me? Yes, if I have been legitimately angered by something that I have every right to be annoyed about, but I haven't been able to expel all of that rage in a normal, healthy manner, I will need to get it out of my system so it doesn't eat me up and therefore I'll end up yelling at inanimate objects or seething over a very minor irritation in my day or just being dramatic over absolutely nothing. I'm so annoyed about that thing and it's just like... Where are my earrings? These are my favourite earrings! Someone has stolen them! I can't believe this! I am wearing them! <sighs> of course this is all restricted to here within the house and preferably within my bedroom so no one else has to see it. Remember, in public, I like to maintain my shiny, happy persona. On 
the outside. I might be all smiley in public and you might think I'm fine, but internally, it could be a very different story. Say, for example, I hold a door open for you whilst we're walking out of a shop. If I've got pent up rage over something perfectly legitimate and I hold a door open for someone and they don't say thank you, in my mind, I will create an entire scenario in which I berate them for their lack of basic manners. I can still be having this argument with this total stranger in my head several minutes after the event took place. That woman was so rude. I held the door open, she didn't even thank me. Ow! I did that on purpose in the hope that she somehow felt it. Yep, if I am genuinely annoyed about something important and I haven't had a chance to get that annoyance out of my system, I will just have imaginary arguments with people I have never met and get annoyed about totally insignificant things instead until all the anger has dissipated. I say people I've never met, but sometimes it's people I have met and had arguments with several years ago. <laughs> That's what I should have said in response to that argument I had in 2016! <sighs> the good news is, it doesn't usually last for too long, and it doesn't take too much to pull me back out of it. I cannot believe that guy pulled out in front of me at a roundabout when it was my right of way. Does he not know the highway code? And then he goes and beeps me rather than putting a hand up to go, oh, sorry, my mistake, like a sensible human. I mean, what an absolute piece of shit. I've got a feeling we're having pizza for tea tonight. And then suddenly I lose the urge to start singing angry Alanis Morissette songs. You, 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 I don't know. And I'm back to being a shiny, happy person again. At the end of the day, I think it's much healthier that I might get annoyed with an inanimate object rather than actually start yelling and screaming at somebody I know and care about. I would much rather have this weird thing where I have imaginary arguments in my head with total strangers than just go around being ragey and angry with everybody I actually know. So, even though it makes me a bit weird, I think I'll stick to my system. Who knows, maybe in time I will even stop being furiously angry with YouTube for screwing over small channels like mine. Maybe, maybe, probably not. So, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I promise I won't be angry if you don't, because, you know, even if I am, I'll, I'll take it out on a shoe or something, not you. And hey, if you like this channel, please click my floaty head to subscribe, and more importantly, please tell literally everybody you know to subscribe as well, because I need over 800 more subscribers. And feel free to binge watch every video I've ever made consistently for the next few days so that I have my 4,000 hours of views. I'm gonna go cry and scream into a pillow. I'll speak to you next week, everybody. Bye!